Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will add color panel uh, so that if you have multiple cars, uh, in my case, definitely I have choose one car only and uh, just the colors are different, but you may have uh, different cars and uh, for example, sport car, for example, uh, some type of uh, uh, F1 car, for example, or any other type of cars. So uh, you can implement the uh, colors selection uh, uh, process by uh, uh, by this video so now uh, let's see how we can do that so first of all in the canvas we need a panel so let's create a panel over here so where is panel okay and uh, now definitely we can uh, scale this panel uh, before that I will recheck okay the size is fine so in the game view you can also adjust it otherwise you, in the scene view you can go to 2d and we can make it like this and let's add it to top maybe okay anywhere in the scene and in the game view you can see that we have a this area for the colors so in this section we can definitely a background can be black or whatever and now we can add some buttons to this panel so before that i will just rename this panel to button uh, sorry color panel and inside this panel i will just add some buttons so let's create a ui legacy button and I will rename this button to black button and then we can just add this button to the color panel and before that I will just uh, uh, move it to the right place so maybe our hair and our hair and then I will just re uh, I will just delete the text and I will just select the button and I will just change the color of this button so uh, okay let's make it black and definitely the background of the panel should be a little bit grayish maybe so that we can see the black color and uh, then definitely we can make it small and maybe like this and then we can add it here maybe okay so this is our first button for the black color so before moving further I will just write a script in the uh, project and uh, car scripts uh, folder the same folder I have written the script of a button color script and in this script we have created some variables a public byte red byte green byte blue byte alpha for the transparency and we have added a public static pool change equal to false initially so we have added these variables and then we have created a function with the name of public wired set color function and uh, then we have said that the save script dot preview car color is equal to new color 32 and then we are getting the values of red green blue and alpha which we i will show you in a while that uh, how it will work okay so here we can say that change equal to true as well so this is a pool variable so when we will click on the color it will set this color okay so this function actually we will add this function to that button so let's move back and we'll select the black button and uh, we'll just go back and we will uh, on the black button we can actually before this image I will drag drop this script so that we can visualize the color uh, here okay so here you can see that if we uh, button color I will just drag drop this here and uh, now you can see that we have certain values here red green blue and alpha okay so this is very important so what we can do is that uh, we can actually select the red value green value blue value and alpha value 
So if you click here, you can see that the red value is 43, green is 43, 43, and 255. So what we will do, we will just write here uh, 43, 43, 43, and 255 for full color. Okay. Uh, definitely, you can uh, change these values and uh, for several colors. But before that, I have added this color uh, first color okay and this is the whole setup for this button so now what we want is that if we click on this button we should the color of the car should change okay so what we will do we will just select the button but before that I will do some more things here I will add one more script and before adding that script uh, I have added one more value to the save script so you will go to save script and in the save script we will add some more variables and here you can see that uh, we have a variable of if uh, after finish point uh, id i have added these three variables so the variables are public static color 3 um, 32 uh, this variable usually used for the uh, colors uh, and uh, this is 32 bit colors sports car color and then we have already added uh, one more uh, variable with the preview car color and then we have added a int variable with a name of sports car id okay so now this is the preview car color is actually uh, we are using this uh, variable here okay preview car color equal to new color 32 red green blue and alpha so we are getting this variable from save script so now we will move back to our unity and uh, on this black button we will add on click function and definitely the script is attached to the same button so we will drag pop it here and then we will move back to button color and we will click on set color so now when we will click on this button the color of the car should be uh, selected so for the car color we will write another script uh, with the name of preview color so in the preview color script now what we will do we will just write a update function and in the update function we will say that if button color dot change equal to true so we are getting this button color from the this script or uh, uh, from the button color script so we are selecting the button color script then we are changing uh, selecting the change behavior then we are saying that if that is true then we want to change uh, we will make the button color dot change equal to false instantly so that uh, it should not uh, uh, change again and again by clicking the uh, single button so now if we click on the other button again then it will become true again okay and then it will be uh, we will make it false again and then for uh, with this uh, uh, with the selection of the button we are saying that we are making a variable with the name of this renderer and then we are making it to this dot get component and a renderer what it mean is that uh, we are getting this renderer this renderer mean that we are getting this color okay whatever color we will select on the button and then we will add this color to the component we are um, uh, the script is attached and then we will make the renderer of that component is equal to the that color so i hope you understand and then we are making that this renderer dot material dot set color if you want to change the texture of any uh, car or any mesh whatever else you can add set texture and then in this case we are just uh, changing the color and then we are saying that base color okay we we are adding just the string base color and then we are adding the value of from the save script preview car color so that's it for the code of uh, changing color so now if we move back 
and uh, if we select the car holder as you can see that we have three cars and uh, I will just press uh, before that I will just make it 2D not 3D and I will press 3 uh, sorry F to focus this car and now you can see this car is selected and this is another car and this is the third car so first of all we will see that uh, on which uh, component we have this color section so we will extend this car and uh, then we have the body maybe on body we have color yeah you can see the body matte yellow material is added here okay so what we will do we will add that script which is the uh, script of the what is the name of script preview color script so what we will do we will select that script which is the uh, preview color script so we will drag drop it on this component okay on the body component so now what will happen that it will select this color and it will change this color from here okay if you have texture you can add texture here as well if you want but uh, I think it should uh, work so let's see and then for the these two cars I will just extend these two cars and I will select the body of this car and uh, body so third number and then this body and we will add the okay 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 one by one I will just add so here we will add a preview color and then for the third car we will add the preview color okay so that's beautiful so now you can add multiple colors if you want so here you can see that we have a black button we can duplicate it and i'll just duplicate it let's uh, rename it to maybe cyan button okay or uh, you can rename the third button to something like maybe uh, orange button like this and then what we will do we will select the same color over here so here I will just move back to 2d so that we can see our buttons that's the button okay so now I will just select it and uh, we'll just move it like this and then orange button then we will select the cyan color first and I will just select the uh, something like this type of color uh, it's not accurate cyan you can uh, get the a true code from the web and uh, then you can implement as well so for this color you can see red 4201255 okay so what we will do 4201255 and 255 for alpha and then we have orange color and uh, let's add the orange color then uh, we have uh, for orange color we have uh, 207105 so 207105 0 and 255 save it and uh, that's it so now if we play the game hopefully it should work so let's see Uh, okay, so these are the color. So let's select the black color and nothing happens if we select the blue color nothing happens And if we select orange color nothing happen at all So we have some mistake I think So let's see what is the mistake and we will solve that mistake in next video hopefully 
and uh, we will also <coughs> move further and we will save the values of the colors. <coughs> 